Good morning, America. Elliot Rosewater for the Cape Pixie Radio, the only nuclear power radio station on God's green earth. We're at the Attic Antique Store in Coronado, home of the Crystal Ship Podcast. This is our little studio. We're about to make it more, you know, more. Um, we're going to have more lights. We're going to have more. I might even have an engineer who's going to help me because it's one man band, but and even though that's cool, it's nice to have a little, you know, another dimension to it. This is a little Shangri La for me and I hope for you. Today I'm going to talk to you about, well, hello, look at that. David Levine's art is now on beautiful mugs and t shirts and tote bags and all sorts of other. For example, look at that. David was the photographer who was at the Miami riot and caught the whole thing. And this is a lot of his work here. Those prints, unsigned prints, go for 50 bucks. But a real one with a, the story attached to it goes for $250, $260. They sell like hotcakes. That's the Jim Morrison stop in time clock, which means all the numbers, all the hands of laying broken, representing the stopped in time. But not the music that lives on, so, as do all of these old records. People love to come in and find things from their youth songs. Look at that, the Beatles' Hard Day's Night. Still a timeless album. But anyway, today I want to talk to you about a, a, a story of recovery and how sometimes it looks impossible and people give up on people and, and they say, that's the end of it, I've done enough, I'll never try again. And, but there's always something moving other than our little world. The holy dove is always moving, always, never stops. Late at night, early in the morning, especially when people think it's time to give up and walk away from somebody they think is useless. There's always hope. hope. <coughs> in Spanish, the word is esperanza. So I say to you, that person you've given up on today just might be ready to go the next day. So never give up. On the other hand, don't be abused. Don't be yanked around by the, the awful semantical carousel you are taken on when you try to help someone who is an addiction problem. Well, yeah, it's useless and it's hopeless and I've wasted all my life. No, every effort you made, failed or successful, is part of the picture. So remember this, it's not just us. Things are moving always, constantly in flux. There's always hope. There's always a chance. Especially when you say, well, I give them every chance of that. Don't. Don't ever say that. And I'll tell you why. There's a little story. Oh, about 50, 55 years ago, maybe more. A school teacher in this town, name was Louis Villar the English-Spanish teacher, and he was a Fagan-esque character who corrupted his volleyball team, his, his class, everything that he did, he, he turned into a living nightmare for many people. Yeah, there was a little greed involved, but the kids who got involved were suckered into it, but they were all naive, most of them handsome surfers, most of them yeah, great athletes, and he used that prowess to have them smuggle sea bags full of dope across the Mexican border. They called it the Coronado Cartel. And Mike Wallace came to town and did a little story on it. There was a young woman there, she was 15 years old, the daughter of a prominent doctor who he ran away with to give her cocaine, and she became uh, broken, like all these kids. And he, he got arrested. He turned all of this kids in that he had hired. Even after the fact, after he was arrested, 
he went out and got more people and suckered them into buying dope from him and it was all on tape the feds wanted to build a bigger case so they went went out and got 50 or 60 more people who would never ever have been involved had Lou Villar not come back to town and promised them the world and gave them low price dope and said I'm making millions you want to make millions and he sold them the bill of goods and by god they all bought it poor things feds were listening and so Lou when he went to court he said look and the feds said look Look at all these people Lou got for us. And the, f the feds not only paid him, but they gave him back all his own money that he uh, got from the drug deals. And then the prosecutor, <laughs> he came to work for Lou after that. Crime pays. Well, not in the end. Because even though that man, Lou Villar, is still alive somewhere in San Diego, by the way, his life has been on the run and a rat, you know, uh, he had to hide out. He became a uh, uh, personal instructor for sports and he worked at Belmont Park and he, uh, his life went down the drain, but not enough for me. Anyway, this young woman, <clears throat> about 35 years ago, I came to town and I found her in a terrible state. And she, uh, Let's put it like this. The Holy Dove moved on her and myself because I was in crisis too. And together, we worked hard and she got free of it. Then she had two beautiful children who are now grown up, 33 and 34. And uh, she is in the process of writing a book about, about her experience. And I've written three books myself, and I'm soon to begin to write another one about the last 35 years of my life in Coronado. Since then, I've published a magazine called the Coronado Clare, Clarion, which is, uh, we did it like in the old 1700s scroll fashion. We rolled it up and we put a beautiful ribbon around it and a seal. And it's quite unique. It's got many, many good stories in it. And a few, you know, about the badness of people in our community who have all seemed to have disappeared, went up in smoke. So look out for a book called My Life Inside the Coronado Cartel by Kimberly Deal Graham. And now we're gonna say a prayer. It's early in the morning and I pray every morning for strength to keep on doing what I'm doing. At the in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Credo in unum Deum, Patrum, Omnipotentum, Factorum Celia Terra Visibilium, Omnum et Invisibilium, et Unam Sanctum Catholicum, et Apostolicum Ecclesia, et Una Baptisma in Remissionum, Peccatorum, et expecto resurrectionum mortuorum, ito venturi seculi. Amen.